I'm currently in my first year at the University of Nottingham, Malaysia's campus, studying chemical and environmental engineering. So I'm guessing most of you guys would be my seniors. I hope everybody is uh, doing well today on this Thursday morning, and um, I hope everybody is excited as I am to hear from our special speakers today. So before we start off on our event, I would just like for everybody to take note of a few things. If you have any questions throughout this talk, you may submit your questions in Slido, which can be accessed from the QR code that will be flashed in a, on the screen in a few, in a few minutes. Um, or if not, you can also just go to slido.com and fill in the passcode that will also be uh, on the screen. Uh, if not, you can also feel free to leave your questions in the chat box and we will pass them to the speakers at the end of the session. Also take note that you can vote for your favorite questions on Slido for it to have a high chance of it being answered at the end of the session. Um, and we have one more small reminder that there are only three more days to vote for your preferred employee, uh, employer sorry, <laughs> at the Graduate Brand Awards. Uh, and if you haven't done so, please click the link in the chat box that will be posted um, to cast your vote today. So let me share my screen to show you guys the um, QR code. So I hope everybody can see my slides. Um, the QR code, oh, yeah, so this is me. I'm the moderator, Isaac So. And this is the QR code for the Slido, or you can also just go to slido.com and uh, fill in hashtag join CIMB. So I will give you guys uh, a minute to do so. In the meantime, maybe um, we can just get to know each other a little bit more. So uh, I just want to gauge from the audience today, um, how many of you guys are in your final year at university? No? Can't really see. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so let's just see how many of you guys are in your final year. So I'm guessing those that are not in your final year, you're probably fresh grads or maybe your second last year. Uh, and those that are in university, um, I'm guessing some of you guys have just got back on campus. As a matter of fact, actually, I, I have just got back on campus in the Nottingham campus about three days ago. And Still finding my way around. First time on campus after one month of online schooling. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have had uh, longer periods of time. <laughs> uh, so I hope everybody has scanned the QR code or uh, click the link, uh, sorry, joinslido.com and fill in hashtag join CIMB. So um, now, before we jump into the session with the speakers, I would just like to engage a little bit more with the audience. So if everybody can please go to the slido.com, we have a quick question, a few questions for everybody to answer over there. So um, let me unshare my screen. And um, give it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, wow. Some of you guys are feeling good. 11-11, yes, today is 11-11. Gumbira, positive, great. Anybody feeling sleepy? Anybody a late, uh, not a morning person? <laughs> awesome. Any others? Any others? Anxious? Don't feel anxious. 11-11, that's right. <laughs> Hungry. Singles, singles day? I did not know today is singles day. Happy singles day to all those single people out there. <laughs> 11, 11. I hope you guys have had your Lazada shopping carts all filled up, ready. <laughs> excited. Yes, I am very excited as well for this today's talk. Um, I hope to be able to gain a lot of things from our speakers today. Tired, hungry, good, smiling. I'm glad you're smiling today. Happy and excited. Most people are excited over here. That's great. That's great. Energetic. Oof. Shopping. Okay, I'll just give it another 30 seconds. Anybody else want to let us know how you're feeling? Want to learn? That's great. It's always great to uh, be able to learn more from different people and get different perspectives, right? Anxious, want to learn. Energetic, happy and excited. Positive, that's great. Okay, I guess we can go on to the next question then. So our last a second question today is, what are your expectations from this event? You know, um, we don't just go into things, you know, not, not caring about what's going to happen. We want to learn something. So 
I would like to I would like to know from you guys what uh, are y'all hoping to get or hoping to gain uh, from this event. Good, <laughs> good, good. What? <laughs> Gain knowledge, get a job. Mm. Any others? Insights on career. Yep, yep. To have some fun, definitely. Career advice, yes. The speakers today are, let's just say, we, we should be very excited to gain knowledge on most people. Management trainee, okay, advice. CIMB to get to know more about CIMB, yes. Just another minute or so. Get a job, good. Uh, okay, most people are here to gain knowledge, to gain some wisdom, the new things. Expectation on freshies. Placement for internship. Mm, okay, later you guys can ask some questions um, regarding these. Uh, okay, another 30 seconds. Expectation on freshies. Oh yeah, I saw that. Learn more about TCB and TCBD. Yes, that is our main thing today. <laughs> Fresh graduate options. Yes, yes. Internships, jobs at CIMB. Very good, very good. I'm hoping everybody is um, excited and ready. Uh, we will be introducing our speakers soon. Okay, okay, I hope everybody has put in everything they want to put in. Um, okay, so now we will move on. Okay, so please remember that later, this Slido link will be used for the Q&A as well. So if you want, you can put in your questions now or throughout the event. And at the end of the event, we will be um, looking at those questions. Okay, thank you. So now we will go back to the slides. Let me share my screen again. Okay. Um, I hope everybody can see. So today we have two speakers. Um, first up, we have Ziling, who is a former TCB from Batch 50, and she's currently under a secondment at Touch and Go Digital. Next up, we also have Amina, who is a former TCB Digital from Batch 1, and she's currently holding position as an executive officer in group technology and data. So um, Zeling and uh, Amina, maybe you guys can turn on your cameras and say hello to the audience today. Hello. Hello, Hi. good morning. Hello, good morning, everyone. So I am Zeling from CIMB. And first of all, thanks, Isaac. And also thanks, Amina. Nice to meet both of you today. Pleasure to be invited here today for a sharing session and also happy Singles Day to everyone. So yeah, a bit of background about myself. I am a statistics major and I graduated from University of Putra Malaysia some two years ago. I am a former management associate under CIMB's management trainee program, which is the Complete Banker, also known as TCB. And I am from TCB Batch 50, as mentioned by Isaac earlier. In my two-year journey as a TCB, I had job rotations in group operations, um, consumer products, corporate banking, and decision management. And for your information, decision management is my job placement department. So yeah, I've been with the bank for about two years now. And currently, I am on a three-month secondment in Touch and Go Digital, mm -hmm. where upon the completion of the secondment, I return to my permanent role as a data analyst in CIMB. Um, once again, nice to meet all of you today. Thank you, Zeling. Um, next up, we have Amina. Amina, you want to say hi? Hi, hello. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, thank you for joining us for this uh, session this morning. Uh, okay, so we've heard about Zeling. So, uh, so many uh, placement in TCB Digital. Uh, well, for me, uh, my full name is Siti Nor Amira Amina Binti Zulkifli, but you guys may address me as Amina. So, uh, I'm a former TCB Digital, batch one. Uh, I graduated from uh, IIUM, Gombak Campus, uh, with bachelor's degree in information technology. And now I am currently um, working as a mobile developer in CIMB. And during my journey with TCB Digital, it was a one-year program. I had the opportunity to be rotated in two business units. Uh, the first one is a development business unit, and the second one is production support. 
yeah so that's for me a brief introduction on me thank you thank you amina thank you Zuling. um at least now we know a little bit more about you guys you know so maybe as a starter question just very light can you tell us a little bit more about how you got to know about tcb and tcb digital um, and perhaps why you ended up choosing this program is there any interesting story about it so let's start with amina yeah, thank you, Isaac. Yeah, that was an interesting question. Uh, so for me, my experience, I would say it was from uh, campus recruitment. So um, uh, how I get to know TCB Digital, I would say, I would like to say my thank you is for the TCB uh, graduate recruitment team, my uh, university um, counseling unit, and also my lecturer, because from them is where I get to know about this TCB Digital program. So uh, at that time, I had just settled down with my internship. Then uh, my lecturer, they, he, he sent out, an, uh, it was Dr. Sharkawi, sent out uh, an email to me and my batchmate about the opportunity from CIMB that they are recruiting uh, students, they want to uh, recruit students, graduates with digital technical background for their program. So um, uh, it was from there that I get to know about TCB Digital. And I had my... Uh, on job, I uh, sorry. I mean, I had my um, on campus interview, and from there I got get a call and continue for the next level of in, uh, assessment. Uh, wow! Yep. So, so actually, CIMB went to campus to interview you, so. Uh, yes, it was the wow. first uh, interview I had. <laughs> wow! Oh, that one must have been exciting, nervous, nerve wracking, was it right? <laughs> yeah, right. of course. What about Zeling? Any interesting story? Yeah, thanks Isaac and thanks Amina for your sharing. I think that's very lucky of you Amina to be honest. You have participated in the campus engagement because my story is totally different from yours actually. So personally, I graduated from University Putra Malaysia in 2019, two years ago. And back then, all I wanted was a career in the banking industry. Um, however, I was unsure of which um, department or field to join in banking because the banking industry is vast. There's so many different roles in it. Right. So back then I have these questions like what are the different roles in banking and would I do well in it or will I even be suitable for the choice that I make? And there were so many things that I wanted to try and so many things that I wanted to do. But how do I even begin? Right. So back then there was a lot of um, this kind of uncertainties, I would say. Then um, the next thing I did, I hop on to Google. And in all honesty, CIMB was the first bank that came to my mind. Right, then I googled out CIMB and I found out about the Complete Banker program, all via CIMB's website. And I recalled back then being really delighted because TCB has everything that I was looking for, especially the opportunity to rotate across different business units. Because TCB is a program that provides a holistic view of the banking industry, right? And personally, for me, job rotations. Um, would be perfect because I wanted to try so many things, so many different things before settling for a job placement. So then with further research and asking around, there was then the application process, so on and so forth. And yeah, here I am today. So that is exactly how I discovered the TCB program. Very different story from Amina. <laughs> Thank you, Zeling. Yeah, it's really true, you know, when, when you can go through so many different jobs, you can learn so many different things and, you know, gain so much more from just one single job. And I guess that's a, that's a very important lesson to learn over here, which is um, if you're ever unsure of anything, Google is your best friend, right? <laughs> okay, that's, that's a really good start. Let's um, look at the next question. So previously um, in the introduction, you guys mentioned about some of the departments you guys uh, were in. So maybe right now you can elaborate a little bit more and share on your current duties and responsibilities and maybe about your overall journey in TCB and in TCB Digital, uh, the programs. Yes, um, let's start with Zeling. Okay, thanks, Isaac. Yeah, this on this, I have a lengthy story to share. <laughs> so, well, as you know, the TCB program is a two-year program. So during my first year in CIMB as a TCB, I had the opportunity to, uh, to be involved in job rotations across four different banking units. So I had my rotations in group operations, consumer products, um, corporate banking, as well as decision management. So in my very first rotation in group operations, I gained exposure on strategy planning of group operations. I was also involved in the digitalization of those manual repetitive tasks through robotic process automation. 
So it's kind of like a more of a digital exposure, I would say. And in my next rotation um, in consumer products, I assumed the role as a product owner. So I assisted with product uh, deposit product portfolio management in order to drive acquisition and retention. So some of the things that I do, I run campaigns and in order to get more, uh, more acquisition and more retention. Well, that aside, I also covered the operationals as usual. So for my next rotation in corporate banking, I was involved in annual review of the financial portfolio of CIMB corporate clients. And this is very interesting because this is a totally new thing for me. Um, being in the corporate setting, dealing with corporate clients. So from there, I gained a lot of knowledge in credit and financial analysis. So next would be my final rotation, which is also my placement um, department, which is decision management. So here I assume my current role as a data analyst in the consumer banking division. Some of my key responsibilities include um, to provide insights and also to propose recommendations in order to drive the bank assurance business of the bank. So as you can see, I am in charge of the bank assurance analytics. I do a lot of programming on a daily basis. I have also developed some propensity models in order to uplift our business. Um, so for instance, um, you know, by identifying the demography and also the behavior of customers who are more likely to purchase bank assurance from us, then we can better target these customers and cross sell our insurance or our bank assurance to them. So personally, it's interesting for me because I get to know more about the business, some of the market insights and the demand of what's actually happening out there. And along the way, I get to work with uh, multiple parties. I get to work with internal stakeholders, such as our product owners and also campaign team. And I also get to work with the external parties, namely our bank assurance partners, um, Sun Life Malaysia and also Berjaya Sompo. And all of these enable me to hone my stakeholder management skills. Right, so um, come to think about it, one of the challenges uh, when I joined the team, uh, it was during lockdown and we have been working from home ever since. Um, however, my boss and my colleagues, they have been very supportive. And also my boss is the type of person who prioritizes team bonding, which makes me feel at home almost immediately. And I don't feel any sort of, um, any sort of disconnect with the team at all. So that was my first year as a TCB. Yeah, and currently as we speak, I am seconded to Touch and Go Digital for a three-month stint. So here I learned on the company's insurance partnerships. As you can see, there's insurance as well, which is quite similar to my role uh, as a bank assurance analyst in CIMB. So here I learned on insurance partnerships and also business portfolio man uh, management. It is quite different in some sense, as opposed to my permanent role as a data analyst in CIMB, but the portfolio, the insurance portfolio or bank assurance portfolio is, um, is still the same. Right. So here I took on a more um, business perspective in order to drive the insurance business of Touch & Go Digital. So some of the things that I do include um, onboarding new insurance partners or running campaigns and um, assisting with analytics to help the team have like a better understanding of the business. Um, and not only that, there is a need for me to emphasize as well that this second one, uh, sorry, this secondment <laughs> has allowed me to build my professional network as well. So as you can see, despite me being in banking or from the banking background, I actually have the opportunity to be seconded to Touch & Go Digital, which is a fintech company. And all of this is made possible under the TCB program and with the support from my superiors and the department of which I am truly grateful for. So hence in a nutshell, from what I've shared earlier, four job rotations um, followed by job placement and secondment opportunity in the second year of TCB. So all of these are my personal experience and also professional exposure that came as part and parcel of the TCP program. Um, yeah, sorry, that was a bit lengthy, but I hope our audience sitting in front of the screens feel excited upon hearing this. Um, so yeah, what about you, Amina? I'm excited to hear your side of the stories too. Yeah, well, thanks, Ziling. Uh, that one, what you guys heard just now is more about TCP Digital. They have a more, uh, I think they will have more chance to be in more uh, business unit rotation. Well, uh, a bit different for TCB Digital. TCB Digital is a one-year program, and um, I would say because it say is TCB Digital, so most of us who join the TCB Digital will be from technical uh, digital technical background who do computer science, uh, network security. Um, so for my experience in uh, TCB Digital in one-year program, uh, as I said, I was rotated into business unit. The first one is under 
digital delivery architecture where uh, in development business unit. So uh, during this uh, first job rotation, uh, I do have the chance to get my hands on dirty. Uh, you really work on the code. Uh, maybe I can see it. It was, uh, I was involved with uh, clicks web development. Okay, the, the currency and the clicks. So you were exposed, you were exposed to um, do some bug fixing, some enhancement on the code uh, that was on uh, development. And then the second business unit, I was rotated to clicks production support. So uh, in the second business unit, uh, I get to know more about um, the server that uh, the management, uh, let's see the digital system that we have that uh, manage the clicks. So you get, I get to know about uh, how many server do we have? How, uh, how many is uh, handling traffic for clicks web? How many is for clicks app? And then you get to learn to use uh, the monitoring tools. Uh, and yep, and also uh, somebody is uh, get the chance to do to attend to some incident tickets. Um, yeah, that is on clicks production support, uh, two business unit, and then uh, after I completed uh, my um, rotation with clicks production support, then I come back to development, and for now I am attached to back to development. Uh, it was under group strategy and trans uh, group strategy transformation. Uh, I am now currently working on a project as a mobile developer. So if uh, talking on my day-to-day -day task um, as a developer, so what I, I would do is uh, I, would I would receive a list of business requirements from the business people, from the stakeholders. So uh, from there, we would do the, the coding, the development of the features, and then uh, we do a short demo about what we have developed. And then from there, uh, we, we will have the QA, quality assurance to do some testing, making sure that what we develop, the features that we are going to deliver are working as, as it is. If everything is fine, then the features will be in the next release uh, of the apps. Uh, yep, that will be my day-to-day -day task and also my experience in TCB Digital. Thank you. Thanks, thanks Suling and Amina. There's a lot to take in there. I'm sure the audience is like, okay, trying to pinpoint which parts they are more interested in and maybe they are uh, uh, concerned about. If you guys remember, if you guys have any questions, you can always um, uh, put it in the chat box now or Slido and we will address it after this so that you guys can get a better, clearer picture or maybe you know uh, get to know a little bit more about the different parts they were talking about. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you so much for those uh, lengthy and informative uh, uh, answers. So let's go on to the next question, actually. Um, on behalf of a lot of students, you know, being a student myself, I think this is something that we all, we all really want to know. It's a very common question and um, everybody has a different view on it. So the question is, what does it take to be where you are at now? What in your opinion? Like? So maybe we can start with um, Amina. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, what does it take to be where you are now? Okay, uh, I would say, First of all, I'm just a normal person. There's nothing special about me. But well, what I would say is, uh, to be where you are now is to be, to be where you are now is, uh, it's it's actually about how you manage your mindset, your attitude, and your emotions towards, uh, toward your works, toward your environment, how you accepted things. Uh, that would help. That would help you to grow yourself. Um, maybe a bit about my experience when I actually applied for TCB Digital uh, or after I graduated, I am more keen towards data science streams. But uh, in TCB Digital, I was assigned to development business unit and here I am now working as a mobile developer. But um, what um, I would say at first, I was really keen towards uh, coding, programming on uh, doing some mobile development, web development. But I realized that if you deny it, it you are actually making yourself struggle. And uh, my advice is uh, be open-minded, give yourself some space, some time to learn. Uh, there is milestone in your growth and just be open-minded and try to learn as much as you can. And if uh, you find out any difficulties uh, during doing when you're doing your task or you're trying to understand something but you're taking some time 
uh, do not hesitate to reach for help because in CIMB, I would say my experience, the colleagues, my superior, they are all, uh, they are very uh, willing to help you to grow. Uh, if let's say if you if you come out if you have any issue quickly uh, raise uh, raise for help and then you will receive uh, they will come and help you out and uh, this the problem will be solved in a short time manner. Yeah, uh, that would be my advice for me. Yeah. Uh, how about Zili? <laughs> yes, I totally agree with you, Amina. Definitely. Um, attitude is the most important thing, definitely. And willingness to learn new things is very important as well. Because being in this program, both TCB and TCB Digital, we will be rotated to different departments. We will get very diverse and very different tasks each time. So no matter what's assigned to you, you have to accept it and embrace it with an open heart. You know, even if you don't like it, you know, if you continue to stay negative simply because you don't like the task or the job or the portfolio given, this negativity itself might affect your onward job performance and you wouldn't want that, right? So, you know, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So I totally agree with you on that, Amina. Yeah, so that's why when it comes to career advice, right, I personally always believe in two things for myself, passion and also the right attitude. So first of all, you got to find that passion that fire in your heart. And of course, along the way of experimentation, um, along the way of trial and error, you need to have an open heart to accept any new learning or any unfamiliar thing. And even stepping out of your comfort zone to try what's on the table, right? Once you've found your true passion, check. Yeah, sorry, I, I think we were cut off for a little bit just now. So maybe let me... Um, yeah, picked up a little bit on that. Yeah, so I was saying that, um, yeah, you got to find that passion in your heart and along the way, you got to accept new learning and unfamiliar things. So even if it takes stepping out of your comfort zone to try what's on the table, just go do it, right? So once you've found your true passion, then you chase after it. And the rest, I believe, will then follow suit. And secondly, as what Amina has said, always bring your best attitude, no matter where you are or who you're with. While in most, but not all situations, it's the IQ that seals you the deal of a job, but it's the EQ that actually drives you further, not only in your career, but also um, in your life. So no matter what you do, remember to have perseverance and integrity, take heart and always be kind. So with that said, having passion and the right attitude are essential for a healthy long-term career. Yeah, and I also need to emphasize that um, both TCB and TCB Digital will actually equip the TCBians with real-life working experience and also good support system from mentors, peers, as well as the team members. So in terms of what it takes me um, to be where I am today, that is hugely reliant on me myself, but I would also like to give the credits to the program itself because TCB is a program which um, really helped a lot when it comes to the support system by mentor. CIMB employers, they have vast and diverse experience in providing training, guidance, and also support, particularly to the management trainees or the TCB. So for my personal experience during my rotations, um, I was assigned to a main supervisor. So upon joining the department, we would then have a check-in conversation um, to maybe discuss my roles and responsibilities, um, as well as to detail out my deliverables. Um, also to align my expectations on the hands-on experience that I'll receive as an outcome of the rotation. Besides, there will also be periodic check-ins and also sync-up sessions with the main supervisor. And this is done from time to time in order to review TCB's performance and strength, um, as well as to highlight on the areas of improvement for TCB's professional development. So yeah, along the way, not only your supervisor, the seniors and other colleagues that have been extremely helpful and generous to share their experience and provide guidance as well. They are always easily within reach. Um, as Amina has mentioned, they are simply a phone call away or a WhatsApp text away. Right. Um, whereas in terms of career chatting, we were guided, we TCBs were guided by a career counselor with vast experience in the corporate setting. That aside, what I like most is the fact that CIMB actually has a well-established and extensive network of TCB seniors within the organization itself. So when new TCBs come in, they can connect with senior TCBs to further explore and also to understand the organization, as well as to get to know more on you know, the different roles within the banking industry. 
also to get some professional tips, which will help TCB in choosing or um, in deciding their short, um, medium, and also long-term career goals. So I have to say that the, men uh, the mentor support system under the TCB program really helped me a lot, you know, in grooming me into the person that I am today. All in all, with this efficient and also systematic extensive support system in place, my TCB career journey has been very fulfilling um, with quality networking and also positive experiences. Yeah, so that is it for the TCB. Um, yeah, and actually just curious, Amina, I believe our audience would like to know as well, right? What is the mentor support system like for TCB Digital? Your side of the story, please. Yeah, okay. Uh, thanks, Yiling. So, uh, yeah, uh, talking about the support system, right? Uh, I would like to share this is uh, one of the experience during the TCB Digital program. So, um, there was one. So, TCB and TCB Digital and TCB program at that time, we are under, still under HR. So, I remember that one time we had a session with our previous uh, group chief people officer. It was Dato Hamidah Nazaruddin. So, uh, we were having chatting and then update on how we are doing in our job rotation and all. So, what, uh, one of my uh, batchmates in TCB Digital uh, like asking for advice on how he, uh, how he can improve himself in English, uh, especially about uh, communication. So um, just just right, it was just like uh, asking for an advice, but uh, right, like a few days after the session, right? Uh, HR, uh, our HR Sharon come back to us and say, okay, uh, we, uh, you, you guys are being subscribed to um, uh, English courses. It was uh, by British Council. And that is for you to improve your English and uh, soft skill. So what I want to highlight here is, CIMB is really a company that want to see you grow and improve yourself. So we didn't expect that at the time, but you can see that uh, the leaders in CIMB, when, when they listen to you, they really listen to your problem and they'll come up with solution and how on how they can help you to improve and be better in your future. Yeah, that was uh, one of the support system that I can share about. Thank you. Thanks, Amina and Zeling. That's really interesting to hear about, you know, the really the, the support system from CIMB. And I also love about um, the part where the TCB seniors actually help out the TCB juniors because I think it's very, um, a really good idea to have somebody who has been in your shoes, you know, to actually guide you through because they understand where you're coming from. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult if they, the person doesn't understand your issues or don't, haven't been through what you've been through. So, so I think that's a really good idea on CIMB's part. And I also really like what you guys touched on previously about um, the mindset you go in, uh, the mindset you have when you go in, you know, you really have to be able to um, learn, not for the sake of just doing a job, but you want to grow, you want to improve yourself and um, being positive about everything you, you do because, you know, even the things, even the task that is difficult, tedious, at the end of the day, it's all going to help you out in your journey, uh, your career and whatever else, right? So thank you so much for that. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, last but not least, I'm sure uh, many students here, after hearing you guys and your insightful information and everything, I'm sure everybody is curious to know how can we apply for TCB and TCB Digital? And can you guys tell us a little bit more about the selection process and uh, the, uh, how, how we can apply for it and the journey through the application process? Yeah, so maybe we can start with Zilling. Yeah, thanks, Isaac. Sure, I'm always happy to share about that. Um, but do can you go to the next slide? Yeah, that's right. Thanks, thanks. So as you can see here, for the Complete Banker program, it is um, relatively easy to apply. So you can, fresh graduates can apply online via CIMB's career website. But you do have to bear in mind that there are three minimum qualifying criteria to meet, right? So first of all, um, applicants must graduate bachelor's degree with CGPA 3.25 or above or you need to have second upper class division grade or weighted average mark of 75% and above. It's not that hard, right? And second criteria is on the age requirement. Applicants need to be 27 years old or below to qualify. And last but not least, you should have less than one year of working experience prior to the application. Yeah, so should you meet all three criteria mentioned, you will receive a link to proceed with online gamified assessment. So once um, applicants pass the assessment, applicants will go through pre-screening via digital interview, um, followed by the assessment center. 
and the assessment center um, comprises business case study and structured interview. So once you pass the assessment center, you'll have final interview session with our group chief people officer. So it's easy to apply, right? Only five steps to an accelerated career with the complete banker program. Um, and also one thing to note here, uh, in view of the pandemic, all stages of the application will be conducted 100% virtual because your health and your safety is definitely our top priority because, um, well, kita jaga kita, right? <laughs> and, oh yeah, maybe we can go to the selection, uh, sorry, the career journey as well. So just a little bit on the career journey. Um, during your first year as a TCB, you will undertake intensive classroom training per month followed by rotations across four different business units, as what I've been through and as what I've shared earlier. And in your second year, you will have attachment with either um, group compliance, audit, or risk management for two months. Um, while it's mandatory, you get to, uh, you can, uh, sorry, while it's mandatory, um, it's only a two-month uh, rotation in either one of these um, control, control functions, I would say. Then also in the second year, we have elective development for three months. However, this is optional. And some of the elective options that we have are really, really exciting. I believe our audience would be very happy to hear about it. So we have, um, we have regional job attachments. As you know, CIMB has presence in 10 ASEAN countries. So you, have, you, will, uh, sorry, you will have the opportunity to, be, uh, to participate in um, regional job attachments to any one of these countries if you wish. And also it depends on availability as well. Then there is also the, the option for, jo uh, sorry, uh, for job shadowing. So for job shadowing, it's usually um, shadowing the senior management. Uh, then we also have the external job attachments with selected business partners. So I am a very good example of that. Uh, my comment to touch and go digital, that is an example. And last but not least on the table, we have the Chinese language and cultural immersion option. So bear in mind these um, elective options, they are all optional and also depending on availability. And last but not least as well, in the second year, uh, you will then have your job placement. So when you are all settled down in your job, your permanent job, then you will have increased responsibilities and you get to hone your leadership capabilities. You can aim further, definitely. Yeah. And maybe one thing to say about this is that, you know, as you notice, the application is open every April and October. So we can say that the next earliest application is coming in um, next April. So you have plenty of time to prepare and prepare well for the application. So yeah, all the best. Thank you, Celine. Um, next up, I, we have TCB Digital, which uh, Amina will share, will help us uh, talk yeah, about. Sure. We'll, Hold on. Okay, um, for, okay, thanks, Isaac. So for um, TCB Digital, you will, it's a one-year program. So for the selection process, we will start with the online application. Uh, you, you can apply via the link that will be shared to you later. Uh, you will, uh, the minimum qualification to apply for TCB Digital is you would need to have a diploma and above with uh, at least CGPA 3.25 and above the grade of second class, um, grade of second class upper division and above, or one of 75% and above. And for the age is 25 years old and below. And you must have uh, less than a year of working experience in order to, uh, to be selected for TCB digital program. Then uh, after the online application, if, you're, uh, if you pass that, you will be sent an email for uh, gamified assessment. Uh, it was um, uh, this, as um, sorry, gamify assessment uh, it, uh, will be the next selection. After that, we will go for technical assessment. It was uh, individual, um, individual, um, individual uh, test. Then after that, we'll move on to assessment center. Uh, the pre-screening process here it will uh, it will depend on the track that you choose for the CB Digital. We have three uh, development data science and uh, network and security. So based on the track that you that you have been pre-screened, you will have um, uh, the case study. Uh, this one is by group. And also um, next one, we'll move on to the technical interview. So technical interview, you, you, you will be sorted by the track that you choose. And lastly, final interview is with the group chief people officer or CTO. 
And the next intake for TCB Digital will be on March 2022. So we have two um, batch of um, recruitment for this uh, TCB Digital. The first deadline is the first batch uh, for the deadline application will be uh, not, not that far. It was on this 15 November. Um, the assessment interview will be around 20 to 30 November. So you still have your time to be part of uh, batch one for this uh, interview session. And the second batch will be, the deadline is on 31st December 2021. And your assessment will be around 10 to 21st January 2022. Uh, yep, that's for TCB digital selection process. Uh, maybe the next one, we move on to the um, module for the TCB digital. So uh, in this one year program, you will have a one month intensive classroom training. So you will, um, it was, uh, you will learn uh, all sorts of um, area in IT. Uh, from my experience, you will learn about um, design thinking, um, uh, about DevOps, probability statistics, some options on security. So that will be on the first one month of intensive classroom. Then we will go for job rotation uh, in two business unit. Um, um, it was for around four to five months in each business unit. And last one is the mentoring session. At this part, maybe you will be like given um, um, some project to do um, in the last, um, in the last part after the two rotation and then lastly if you succeed you will receive uh, uh, an email on the job placement for the confirmation uh, yeah that's for tcb digital all right thank you so much amina and Zeling. um just a reminder that actually you can apply now for both of these um both of these programs Yes, you can apply now, and then um, the intake will be in March for TCB Digital and for hold on, and for TCB it's April and October. Okay, so uh, we have come to the end of our questions and our talk with um uh, our speakers today. So now we will be actually taking questions. So we will be sharing the screen um for Slido and as well as looking through some of the questions in the chat box. Ooh, we have a lot of questions. Um, limited time, so let's just uh, look at this first one here. There's a top question. Hi, panelists. How do you deal with self-doubt, especially coming from a fresh grad and have, has a lot to learn? Do you feel overwhelmed? If yes, how do you deal with it? I think this is a very popular question. So maybe... Um, so yeah, me, I, yeah, I can take that, Isaac. Um, and maybe Amina can chip in as well. So, well, when it comes to self-doubt, it's not exactly saying that, you know, when you're a fresh graduate, you would have self-doubt. It's not always like that. You know, as you grow, as you um, grow older, you will continuously having self-doubt depending on the time and the situation that you're in. So don't you ever feel alone or don't you ever feel, um, don't you ever feel that, you know, it's a fresh graduate thing? It's kind of like a life thing, I would say. It really depends on the situation that you're in. So when it comes to self-doubt, um, like I said, you have to think positive. It's definitely the mindset, right? How did you come to self-doubt in the first place? It's coming from your mind itself and it's the power of the mind. So if you can change that doubt to something positive and start believing in yourself instead of viewing it as, you know, um, will I be able to handle this? How about you view it as, you know, it's a brand new challenge and I can't wait to embrace it. So if you change your mindset, just seeing it, you know, seeing things from a different light, completely different light, you will discover a whole, um, I would say a whole different perspective, a whole different positivity and a whole different motivation for you to move forward. So that is how I deal with it. Um, I'm not sure how Abina deals with it. I, I hope to learn from you as well. Yeah, um, I would say it's, uh, from me, uh, it was almost the same like what Zilin said. Uh, but something to uh, maybe if I can add on, uh, I think it's not that uh, as a fresh graduate, right? Maybe uh, if like in IT, you are not sure for me, uh, I think like you're not sure in which career path you want to go because there's a broad area in IT. There are network security. If you are in development also, uh, there are, uh, you can be a developer, you can be a QA. 
uh, QA and so on. There's so many, uh, uh, what we call, role out there. So uh, maybe we can we can do as what Jiling say, just be open-minded and then uh, be willing to learn. Um, yeah, be willing to learn and you will you will explore more about this uh, uh, this area of industry. Uh, and I think um, um, just just be open-minded and just willing to learn. And then uh, don't don't limit yourself to maybe don't limit yourself to what uh, your um, study your degree I say yeah um, be open minded and if you are given a chance to learn like me in uh, from IT background but I'm working in finance in 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 bank in finance industry so apart from applying IT I also get to learn about um, something in banking in finance industry so maybe. Uh, during my studies, I don't care about credit card, mortgage loan. I don't even know about all these things. But when you come to working industry, you uh, you will get um, the chance to increase your knowledge uh, in things that what you don't learn in university, you will get the chance uh, when you started uh, working. Yep. Thanks, guys. I think that's really true. And especially, Amina, what you said as uh, to not limiting yourself to the degree. Like even for myself, you know, taking a degree in chemical engineering uh, and then uh, coming to CIMB, everybody will say things like, whoa, what, what are they going, what are they, what are they going to ask you to do? You know, it's so bizarre. But I think that's really true. You shouldn't ever limit yourself to the degree you're having. Okay, let's take uh, another question from Nicole E. Hi, panelists. My name is Nicole. My question is, as experienced leaders, does exploring various knowledge and skills bring more value? Or is it important that we focus on enhancing a particular strength? This is a really good question. I think a lot of people will be able to benefit from this. Um, maybe, Amina, would you like to go? Yeah, I can. Um, sorry, um, sorry. Uh, just now the question was on uh, whether to focus on enhancing a particular strength or skills. For me personally, I would say um, um, expand your knowledge because uh, I would say, I would give an example from my IT and my working experience. Uh, at first I say I want to be a data science, but when I was involved in development, uh, I was exposed to production support. I was involved, uh, I was uh, being exposed to uh, QA. So I know, you know, you learn about testing, you learn about um, development from front end and back end side, and you also learn about um, what call that uh, dev up how you do automation and all that things. So personally, from me, I would say uh, just uh, explore the various kind of knowledge because um, I think it will be more interesting as you get to know, uh, as you get to learn more and explore more on um, at least the maybe for me the. Um, I'd say the bidang that you choose lah. <laughs> that lah. Nice. What about Celine? Would you like to answer? Yeah, so um, Nicole E, that's a very good question. I've been there before and I totally understand what you feel. So back then as a fresh graduate, there were so many things that I wanted to try. And I've never thought of, you know, um, focusing on a particular strength at all. So then uh, when I came upon the TCB program, I think this is where I get the opportunity to try very different things, even though it's just for um, business unit rotations. But I had the opportunity to reach out to different people and then to discover further, you know, outside of the, the scope of the four rotations that I had. So then after, after further discovery, the more I know, the better it is because it can then help me to decide that one or two things that I would like to focus and zoom in on. So I would say you definitely have to know more at the start, you can know a little bit of this and that on the surface level and then decide whether you like it, whether your passion is there, your fire is there, whether you can carry it, whether you can do it, then you um, further zoom in on it and specialize on it. But of course, along the way, once you're specialized, you can also change field. I mean, there's no limitations. There's no right or wrong in career. It really depends on your attitude. If your attitude is right, whatever you do, it will go well as well. So I hope that answers your question. All right, thank you, Zuling, Amina. Uh, I hope, uh, Nicole E, I hope you have uh, gained something from that. Um, okay, let's take another question, this time from maybe Slido. Um, okay, uh, Elon Mash, don't think this is a real name, but <laughs> what does leadership mean to you? Please share your past experiences. 
Um, Zeling, would you like to go for this one? And then maybe uh, Amina can take another question later. Yeah, sure. So leadership, first of all, um, everything you do, it goes back to yourself, right? So leadership starts from yourself. First of all, you need to be able to lead yourself, including your mind, your heart, what you want. This involves a very great self-discipline, I would say. So once you are able to do that, to you know, properly lead yourself, then only will you be able to lead others properly. So that is what I think of leadership. And in terms of past experiences, yeah, of course, I believe um, uh, fellow TCB seniors would tell you all of their past leadership mm -hmm. experiences. But one thing that I would like to share is definitely more on this um, leadership on myself, I would say. Um, like, um, um, as mentioned by previous um, previous um, audiences, right, there, there's, you know, time where you feel self-doubt and there's also time where you don't feel you know, you just doubt everything and there's so much negativity. So this is where you come up and you lead yourself to the right place. You get your resources, put your resources in place, and then you juggle what's right or, what, uh, sorry, what's right or wrong. So that is, in, in, uh, from my personal experience, I think that is what leadership means the most to me. It starts from yourself. All right. Thank you, Zeling. Um, Amina, maybe you want to answer this other question in Slido from Nur Alia Atika Binti Sharu Anwar. She said, hello and good day, everyone. May I know what are the challenges that both speakers encountered when you first started in CIMB? Okay, uh, so this one, uh, when I first started in CIMB, right, uh, I think the, uh, the challenges that I would say is uh, on how you uh, learning the tools that you that the company use uh, to do your work. Uh, I think it's a bit challenging for me because I'm um, taking quite some time to get used to it, to learn and how to use all the tools that they have. Um, maybe it may be like something that I've never used uh, during my study before. So uh, for me personally, the challenges is on uh, getting used to using the tools. Uh, other than that, Mm, yeah, uh, other than that, maybe okay. Maybe, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe uh, Zilin would have a different perspective on this. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, for the benefit of time, let's, uh, let's move on to the next question, shall we? Um, I actually saw there is this one question on, okay, let me read it out. How can a recent graduate have a year of work experience? I believe this program is aimed at young adults. Other criteria appear to be acceptable. Can you tell me why is it particularly one year? So I just want to clarify that earlier on during our um, briefing on the selection process, it's actually one of the criteria is actually applicants should have less than one year of work, work, uh, sorry, work experience. So it's not one year of work experience, but less than one year. I hope that clarifies. Ah, thank all right. So Isaac, can, can we, we can move on to the next question. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Really, yeah, it's good to clarify. Um, I also saw another one. Hi, Isaac, do you mind to assist us on how to apply for the program? I believe we covered it in the question, the last question. Um, so if you have any more specific questions, you can quickly put it in, but we are running out of time. Um, so let's just look through. Okay, there's another one from To Carmen um, in the chat box. She said, hi, panelists. May I ask what knowledge should I obtain before signing up? Maybe this is for like before the application process, maybe. Um, Amina, would you like to answer this one for digital? Okay, um, I would say um, um, read, yeah, of course you would need to do some research and reading about the company. And also um, um, my experience uh, when I prepare for the interview, uh, I do some research on the company, I read about CMB and also I prepare, pre uh, the material that you bring to the interview session, right? Like for me, what I did is um, I bring uh, I bring my um, you know you we have your, our FYP report. I bring that and also uh, when during our university when we have assignment, we, we have all the reports, right? So I come I will bring on the compilation of different kind of report and then to showcase to the interviewer. So while they're checking on that, I will explain. Okay, uh, I have previously um do something for data visualization. I have experience in doing mobile development for my FYP. So I think uh, to bring your, uh, apart from doing research on the company, to prepare on 
what you can showcase about yourself, like bringing in your uh, reports, your assignment that if you can show to the interviewer, I think that would really help to show, uh, to give them, uh, to make them see that, oh, this, uh, this student uh, is a good fit for the program. All right, thank you. Thanks, Amina. Um, I think we are actually running out of time already. So um, unfortunately, we will not be able to cover the rest of the questions. However, we hope to be able to um, answer them in a future, future one, future session. So please stay tuned for future announcements for talks with CIMB. Um, a small reminder that um, you can vote for your preferred employer at the Graduate Brands Award, um, which the link is posted in the chat box. And um, before I would like to end, is there anything that Zling or Amina you would like to say before we close? Just any uh, short uh, end notes for our audience? Yeah, so um, thanks, Isaac. Maybe I'll conclude with a summary. So the TCB, pro uh, the TCB program is a two-year um, structured development program that provides a holistic view of the banking industry, where you get to learn the mechanism of how a bank works, just as it's named, the complete banker. And especially regardless of your background or where you're coming from, whether you're banking or whether you're non-banking, the TCB program is crafted in such a way that it prepares you for a banking career and beyond. So having completed my two-year journey with the TCB program, I highly recommend this program for our audience, those sitting in front of the screen right now. And you know, you got to believe that you are always just one decision away from a life-changing experience. So let's take that leap of faith with us. And most importantly, thank you for joining us. I hope that um, our audience find this session um, insightful. And I hope we manage to address all of the questions as well. So sorry for those that we can't take up due to time constraints. Um, yeah, and most importantly, um, always remember to think positive and test negative in view of pandemic. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh -huh. Thanks, Dele. Uh, how about you, Amina? Okay, um, for me, yeah, uh, I agree. TCB and TCB Digital would be a good platform for you to kickstart your career. And maybe it's, uh, a bit that I want to add on the Afnan question just now, right? Um, about the working experience, it's not only less than your working experience. For me, myself, uh, after I completed my internship, I straight away applied for TCB Digital program and here I am. So yeah, uh, not a problem. If you don't have any experience, you may apply for this because it's really targeting for graduates. And I would really recommend to you guys because uh, you would have a, a good experience here in CIMB. Uh, if you want to get your hands on dirty, you want to do some coding, you want to explore about security, how we can improve our digital banking, come and join us through TCB and TCB Digital. Thank you, Amina. Yes, there's many um, opportunities at CIMB. So I hope everybody has had uh, a good time with us. I'm sure uh, the speakers and myself, we have uh, enjoyed talking to you guys and also sharing on the experiences that they've had. Um, a last reminder again, <laughs> to vote for your preferred employer at uh, the Graduate Brand Awards. The link is in the chat box. Um, so until next time, we hope that everybody stays safe, stays healthy. Um, remember to test negative for, for COVID. <laughs> and um, 